Hey, Life Group Leaders, it's time for your weekly Life Group Leader update. So before we get started with the training portion, just a reminder that you guys got those white envelopes, those white packets with um, all the instructions for us to donate and encourage our Hawthorne teachers. So you guys have these manila envelopes, and if you guys can have your Life Group members sign the card with like a little note of appreciation, and if they can each donate $5 towards your teacher, that would be awesome. So if you can just take the money in the card, put it inside this manila envelope, and um, when you seal it, write your life group uh, name right here on the seal. That way we know who, which group it is and that it has money in it so we can take care of it gently um, and carefully. Bring it to us on a weekend service and we'll make sure that gets squared away. So you have until October 30th to get these in. Uh, we would love to have them in earlier, but you do have uh, towards the end of the month to get those in. So as we talk about our training for this week, uh, it's kind of bouncing off of what we talked about last week. So there's a difference between being friendly and being a friend. And of course, a large part about being a friend is being intentional. It's being intentional. Hebrews 10, 24 through 25 says this, and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day of the Lord approaching. And so the author of Hebrews is encouraging Christians to keep meeting together and to hold each other accountable and to encourage them and to spur one another in love, which is what Christian communities do. However, those kind of Christian communities don't happen automatically. Accountability and, and encouragement and spurring each other on towards love requires intentionality. So the question is, how are you being intentional with your group? Maybe are you checking in with them through a text message every once in a while? Are you grabbing coffee with them when they need a little extra attention, um, talking through some really difficult stuff that they're going through? Uh, maybe that's just really pouring into them in, in some other kind of a way or just shouting out to them and saying, hey, when you see them on a weekend service. How are you being intentional with them on a weekly basis? Because the beauty of Christian community is that it's not confined to just a single meeting during the week. It goes onward, it goes further from there. So remember this, if this, if this is a tweetable statement for you to remember, Christian community doesn't happen automatically. It requires intentionality. So just keep that in mind and wonder how can we be intentional with our life group members this week and for the rest of the semester. You guys are great, we love you a ton, and we'll see you next week.